This is Nature Foundation SA's Taliqua property just outside Burra, and we're here today for the Taliqua Lizard Crawl, which is the second time we've held this event at this important property. Do you have to move a little bit around me? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No. wow. <laughs> the pygmy blue tongue lizard is an endangered species. In fact, until some years ago, it was believed to be extinct. Uh, and since then, it's been identified that it's present on tw at least 27 properties in the area. But this is the largest uh, population uh, that's known of in the area. We're looking just for the average performance and the average right. person who sort of <laughs> gets to do this for the first time. A lot of what we do out here with the lizards is uh, very much labour intensive. The more bodies on the ground, very much, you know, the more quickly the ground gets covered because we're, it's a bit like trying to work with plants. We've got a, an animal that's quite sedentary, so unless you walk right up to where it is, you don't see it. I'd like to bring the kids out every year to some sort of nature event to appreciate the environment and um, yeah, help protect it. This is more, this is an adult, this is the size they get. And they don't okay. drop their tails? They don't drop their tails. They have the bone structure but they don't, they don't, need to, they don't do it. Mm. We don't want the birds to eat real lizards but we want to make some plasticine models to see whether they are more detectable by birds um, in where there's shorter grass than longer grass. I need uh, probably around 300 of these during the season and although this brings up the kid in me, I think after 300 models I've had enough. <laughs> we know that the lizards live in, um, in spider burrows, so one of the things we're trying to do is to make this whole property a little bit more um, lizard friendly and a way to do that is to put some more burrows in. The support of sponsors is critical for days like today and we'd really like to thank the Northern and York Natural Resource Management Board and the SA Murray-Darling Basin Natural Resources Management Boards for their cash and other support for this important event. We also have a lot of support from volunteers in days like today, people helping to uh, set up and run the day um, and uh, we really value the time that people put into these events and we believe that they get a lot out of it, a lot of enjoyment. They're very important to our involvement in these events. For these lizards, it's the most important thing because these lizards are living in areas which are active agricultural areas. This isn't an area that's going to be turned into a national park and fenced off to keep the animals safe. In a lot of ways, we don't need a lot of high-tech work to um, conserve the animals. We need to have enthusiastic, not necessarily deeply trained people to walk the landscape and, and look for the sorts of things that we need to know about the animal. Someone has to keep an eye on how many lizards are around. At the moment we have some people who have expertise to do this. What we want to do is to hand over that activity to community groups and what we're not sure about is how good people in the community are at finding these burrows and so we'll ask um, you to uh, each group to go over this one area and see how many lizard burrows you can find. This is something where we can actually do something that'll have a, a, you know, a tangible payoff. And in this case, it's you know, helping people find out what's the best way to keep track of an animal that only survives in this area. Longer term, the animal hopefully will become embedded in the hearts of the Mid-North community as a, a kind of a special bit of the local biology. So what you're contributing to is helping to underpin all of that and this animal's future.